Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Heidi. Today I'm gonna try on some things that are new at the drugstore or relatively new. I'm just trying on a couple of things that I've been sent in PR recently. So thank you so much to L'Oreal, Revolution and Supertruck for sending me these products. We're not gonna do any extravagant look today. We're just gonna see how these products work. So if that sounds like fun to you, then please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's just get started. First, I'm going to show you all the products that I am going to be trying on today. So from Revolution, we have two of these super base color corrector skin bases. So I've got the green one and the yellow one. For concealer, I'm trying out the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream in a concealer. We've got some new lip things from MUA Cosmetics. It's basically two different shades. I've got like a brown shade and a bright pink shade and it just comes in four different finishes so we're gonna try out all of them and from l'oreal we've got their new pro xxl lift mascara which is one of these dual-sided mascaras which i absolutely love they're like my favorite mascaras ever so that's all we're gonna try today let's start with the revolution bases after a couple of very rough months my skin looks like it's finally starting to heal got a lot of scarring on my face but that's okay i was really worried about these two when i first tried them because i thought they were going to be way too dark because these type of products that are just one color are typically too dark for me but they were fine they come in a nice glass jar i was really surprised by the quality of the of the actual product looks like that it's just very interesting it almost looks like a clay mask or something like that i'm just gonna pick it up from there because it's like a ridiculous amount of product in here. I believe using your hands is the best way to apply this because I think the, like the warmth of your hands is meant to like melt it to your skin a little bit better. So I'm just gonna pick it up from the lid. I'll do this side of my face with the green. I'm just gonna do a couple of dots here. I only tried this once before so I can't really remember how much product I need. I don't typically like to apply products using my hands. I prefer a brush. I just feel like it's a little bit neater that way. Here's the yellow one. I'm gonna dot it on the other side of my face. It has like a, such a weird texture. It literally looks like a clay mask. That would be my sort of first reaction if I didn't know what this was. You can kind of see like little like dark dots in it. I believe is probably the color that it turns to. I am going to rub this in. You're gonna see that it turns into a color. It looks a bit grey on my skin tone, I'm not gonna lie. It even looks a bit light, it might be just because I have my redness obviously. But I don't think this would even work for like medium skin tones, I could be wrong. But since it looks so fair on my skin tone, I can't imagine this working on medium skin tones. The finish of this is really, really pretty. It wears really nicely as well, I've worn this once before. And it looks like my skin, but better. You can see that the redness is gone. Um, you can still see my like, scarring through it, but that was just really quick and it just looks really pretty. So that is what the green looks like through the yellow. This one's way closer to my skin tone or like my undertone. It doesn't look as gray as the green. I still like how the green looks and especially because it tackles the redness so nicely. You don't have to work very hard to make this turn into that color. You literally just have to like blend it to your skin. It doesn't feel like greasy or anything on the face, but it gives you like a nice glow. It feels like a little hydrating, but it really just feels like I put on moisturizer or something. Like this, you wouldn't really be able to tell which one's which. I think the green got rid of my redness here a little bit more than on this side, which is obviously the purpose of the green anyway. But I think overall, for my skin tone, the yellow side looks a little bit better. I believe that's meant to like brighten the skin. So I would use this as like a tinted moisturizer. This is such a nice product for everyday use. If I don't want to wear any makeup at all, I would literally just put this on. Next is the L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. And this one has 0.5% pure hyaluronic acid. This one is in the shade Ivory Beige. It's a bit dark for me, I'm not gonna lie, when I don't have my tan on. I have, you can see there, I have tried this before. It's like a Touche Cla type of packaging. You twist the other end and the product comes out and it has like a little brush. I'm gonna put this under my eyes. 
And if I don't want my eyes, under eyes to be any lighter, I just want to like conceal the dark circles. I can definitely use this. It's quite a dark yellow shade, so it cancels out the darkness pretty nicely. But it's not like a super full coverage product. It's very, I'd say very light coverage. It's almost this shade particularly because it's such a dark yellow shade. I feel like it's more like a color corrector. Ideally, I would go for a lighter shade. Let's move on to this mascara thing. Like I mentioned, these dual-ended mascaras are like oh, my favorite. They've sent like an actual lash kit, which is really, really cute. They've sent like a makeup bag. This is this L'Oreal Paris. It's from the Flat Lay Co as well. It looks like that basically, and you can open the entire thing up like that. <laughs> which is super cute. And places for like eyeliners or brushes, anything. Got zipper pockets on both sides. This is just so cute. Thank you so much to L'Oreal for sending this package over. I was so excited when I opened it. And um, I have already tried one of the products in this set because I just could not contain myself. Um, but let me just pop that back in. So we got Tweezerman Lush Guard. I have never tried one of them. This one is Tweezerman Curl 60 Lash Calm that glides through lashes. I'm just reading from what this says. Glides through lashes, leaving them separated and defined to prepare them for perfect mascara application. That sounds amazing. This mascara, I oh, can't wait to try it. I have not tried it yet. It's the L'Oreal Paris Pro XXL Lift Mascara. It's a two-step mascara infused with Pro Keratin. <gasps> Amazing. I feel like my lashes could really use some keratin because I do a lash lift every now and then, so I feel like that's definitely needed. Um, allows you to have intense volume and sound like lift in one mascara. Then we've got this eyeliner that I have already tried because I could not contain myself after I saw the applicator tip. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Grip Microfine Eyeliner. And it provides intense and precise color payoff with its ultra precise 0.01 millimeter brush tip. It has a brush tip, guys. It doesn't have a felt tip, it has a brush tip. That's hard to find in a drugstore product. This is just, it's amazing. I've tried this before and it's unreal. It did not smudge. I had, I had like tried a little bit on, on the back of my hand just to see how the brush tip works and I literally washed my hands like three times and it would not come off. Like it's a very long lasting eyeliner. I'm going to try this first. All right, it has one and two on the side. So let's open side one. Kind of like a cone shape brush, all right. Smells like a regular <laughs> L'Oreal mascara. Side two. Oh, it's a little bit like a different brush shape. You can see there. It's bigger on one side. Very excited. Both sides are black as well. Oh, that is nice. Oh my goodness. That is so nice. I can literally just brush this against the lash guard and I can get right to the roots of the lashes. I feel like I need to get really close to the mirror. Right, well, it worked. I feel like I'm not getting as much mascara on my actual lower lashes though, or even on the top. Like I feel like if I didn't use this, I would get more mascara on the actual lashes because right now this is catching a lot of the product. And also because I like to kind of wiggle my brush or brush this way and then this way. I can only really brush up and down because of the little grooves that, or the little comb that it has on the edge. It works, definitely works. I do feel like I'm wasting a little bit more product. Let's try the side two. I almost don't want to use the lash card now just to see what it looks like on its own, but I really enjoy using this side for the top lashes though. I feel like I can be way more aggressive with the top lashes. Like I said, I can get really close to the roots. I just feel like I can get more product if I don't use the lash guard. Let me just try to do this without. I'm already <laughs> smudging product on top. One thing I will say that this is kind of clumpy and I don't know if it's the mascara or if it's the 
lash guard I am definitely making a mess without that lash guard though Wow, that just looks so nice I think I do prefer that side when I wasn't using the lash guard at all That is really intense I'm gonna try that lash comb now This looks so scary It's actually really sharp as well It's almost like little needles on top So um, just be careful Alright, it's not really pulling my lashes Trying to get all the way to the roots, I'm gonna wiggling it a little bit and brushing through my lashes. It has caught a couple of clumps. Alright, it's definitely separating the lashes a little bit. Yeah, that definitely works. I would do this immediately, probably after applying the mascara, and I wouldn't wait for the mascara to dry, just because it's gonna be easier for the lashes to separate when the mascara is still wet. Now I'm gonna try the eyeliner. Normally I would do eyeliner before mascara, because it's a little bit easier to do because your lashes are in the way then but just so that you could see the whole like full effect of just the mascara I wanted to do that first so this is the Infallible Grip up to 36 hour microfine brush eyeliner and it's an actual brush tip and you can shake it, it has like that little thing inside and it's very very fine you can do like the thinnest line as you can see there or if you press more you can get a thicker line and it's very very long lasting and it's very black it's not like a matte finish it's like a nice satin finish it's literally been there for like 10 seconds and it's not smudging anywhere like I'm trying really hard and it's not smudging not a single bit amazing amazing like probably the best eyeliner already that I've ever used Let's do just a little wing. I just cannot believe they came up with a brush tip applicator. I know so many people have been looking for an affordable eyeliner with a brush tip applicator. Just because it's so much sharper. And it doesn't get dull the same way as felt tip eyeliners do. Oh my goodness, that is so nice and sharp. That is so quick to use. I love that so much. Let's do a little parallel line here. This is definitely my new favorite eyeliner. Let's move on to lips. I'm gonna try on a couple different products. This was sent to me by Superdrug. Thank you so much, Superdrug. This is the MUA Makeup Academy. It says your shade, four finishes. So I have the shades Sincere and Heartbreaker. So there's four finishes. It's all with the same name, Heartbreaker. These are all called Sincere. First, I'm gonna try the lip liner. So I'm gonna use the brown ones first. This shade is called Sincere. This is Intense Color Lip Liner. These are incredibly soft. I noticed when I opened the pink one, you can bend the entire tip just like that. And I don't necessarily like that. I'm just gonna say right now, I prefer dry lip liner formulas. I know that's strange, but I just find that they stay on so much better. Well, that shade of lip liner is just right up my alley. I love that. I don't know how long lasting this is just because it's so incredibly soft and I can already like feel it breaking when I'm just trying to put this on but that color is so pretty on a lip liner can I smudge it just a little bit to soften it yeah really like this lip liner color not a big fan of the formula matte lipstick first so this is called a creamy matte lipstick in the shade sincere cute packaging matte packaging of the same color than the lipstick Kinda has like a vanilla cake type of scent. Yep, lipstick matches the lip liner. It's bringing out the redness in my skin. Not my shade, sadly. But it feels hydrating on the lips. Almost like a lip balm, not as hydrating as a lip balm, but still kind of like a balmy feeling on the lips. And it's definitely matte, so that's quite a nice, comfortable formula. It's a little bit more of that lip liner. So this is the Satin Sheen Lip Stylo and I think this formula is my favorite because I did have a little go at these before. So it looks like this, it's like a lip gloss lipstick hybrid. That's how much product you get. So the packaging is really big. I wish it was like this size, like half shorter, but it looks very neat and sleek. And also the cap is really loose, but the formula is so nice. This one is still too brown, bring out the redness in my skin, but it's a really pretty sort of sheer, a little bit more sheer than the lipstick, like that kind of a shade. 
I am going to go in the store and get a lighter shade. Possibly this one that's in the picture because that shade just looks so pretty. And then the Nourishing Lip Gloss. Cute packaging, kind of cheap feeling, not gonna lie, but it is a cheaper brand, so I don't really mind. It has that vanilla scent to it that I really like. This strangely reminds me a lot of the Morphe Free Bird Gloss. I feel like it's a really similar color. It's quite a sheer product. It's not like incredibly glossy. I almost feel like that one's more glossy than the lip gloss. It's a really, really comfortable formula. And I actually prefer this shade because it's not so brown. I think out of all these four, I don't like the matte lipstick. Too brown for me. Love the color of that lip liner. It's just not the formula because it's too soft. But I'm still gonna keep it because I love the color that much. And these two are a win. Um, really love that lip gloss because it's so sheer and it's really hydrating on the lips and it's not sticky whatsoever. Okay, let's try this pink shade. This is called Heartbreaker and I'm gonna start with the lip liner again. Then the creamy matte lipstick. That's quite like a bright raspberry pink, I'd say. Then this Satin Sheen Lip Stylo. I really, really like this formula. I think this color is definitely more opaque than in the brown one. It's almost as opaque as the matte lipstick. I wish this was just like a tint because I really like the formula, but I don't think I would wear a bright color like this in this kind of a formula that doesn't last long on the lips. I would be too worried that it will just go everywhere. And this is the Nourishing Lip Gloss in the shade Heartbreaker. Again, a surprisingly opaque formula. I don't see myself using this a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. If you are already a subscriber, then thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me today and I hope to see you here next time. Bye.